Hey, Adam, did you hear there's a new Smash Up expansion, but with Disney characters? I didn't. Let's talk about it. <laughs> what does that even mean, Bowers Game Corner? Oh, hi there, you two. We're back again today for another Thoughts for the Corner with my good friend Adam. Hey, and we're talking about Smash Up, the Disney edition from AEG and the op this is for i believe two to five players ages probably 12 plus 14 plus take you 14 minutes to play <laughs> where we start them <laughs> well hi there youtube we're back again today for another thoughts from the corner with my good friend adam Hello. and we're talking about smash up disney edition from the op and aeg this is for two to four players take you 45 minutes to play it's for ages 14 plus. And if you're not familiar with Smash Up, it is a massively popular game with like tons and tons and tons of different factions. And the basic premise is that you take two of these separate faction decks. This faction deck right here happens to be the Nightmare Before Fish Christmas one. And then you smash it up with another one. So you're always going to have two different decks smashed together. You shuffle them up and then you play with those cards. This is going to add eight new ones including big hero six beauty and the beast the nightmare before christmas mulan the lion king aladdin frozen and wreck it ralph and if you've played smash up it's a area control style game where you're essentially just going to be placing characters onto different locations they'll have different special abilities they'll have uh, different attributes you can set on them and the basic premise is really simple you play a card you play two cards on your turn one action one character you have a choice and you try to do area control, but this time with Disney. Now, two questions before we get into this, and I'm sure if you want to see how Smash Up works, you can easily go see tons of videos on that. First question, do you like the original Smash Up if you played it? Second question, did you like this? Uh, the original Smash Up, not a huge fan. Yeah. Uh, this one, yeah, about the same. All right. I mean, it was a good time. It's not something I'm going to buy. It's not something I want to go out and get, but yeah. I, it was fun to see the the Disney characters in there. If I wanted to play this next week, would you want? Would you would you would you say yes or would you be like, eh, I don't want to play yeah, I'd one. play next week. Okay. Would you, and I'm assuming you'd want to try a different faction. Yeah, yeah, I would definitely play different characters. Now, what if I had a bigger box and I had say 30 characters? Would that 30 rolls? Would that increase your likelihood of wanting to play again? No, it would not. Oh wow! <laughs> All right, look at Adam over here because it totally would for me. Well, because here, here's the thing. It's like either I'm going to take two random ones and they're probably not going to work that great together. Hmm. Or I'm going to have to read through every single one of those things and be like, okay, this is a guy that does good with adding, you know, power to people or whatever. You know, like try and get the synergy between them. Eh. Too, okay. much, too much work for what it is. It definitely does feel like one of those games. And it feels like one of those games where if you play with someone who plays it a lot, they're going to kick the living snot out oh, of you. Yeah, like, Josiah, like if Josiah had this, he would have every expansion <laughs> and he would beat, beat our face in. He'd know every single one, yeah. So I like Smash Up the first time I played it oh many years ago. And I still enjoy this one. And I think it does – I'm not Adam. I would, I would say I think it does give it legs having, you know – 50 different factions. There's like a Will Wheaton one. There's like cowboys and princesses and unicorns and all sorts of stuff. And that personally gets me excited. I've always want more, more, more. And I love having the idea of just a mega massive box of this. And at the end of the day, I, I enjoyed what I saw. All of our decks felt different and unique. We all had our own little quirks and I'm excited to mush things together. And I think it does an admirable job of being a solid entry point to smash up. Like, mm -hmm. if you've never played Smash Up, I think you could totally pick this one up and have no issues with it. While at the same time, also being a really pretty fantastic... Like, I would say this is a must-own expansion if you like Disney and if you like Smash Up, right? Because, yeah, sure. I mean, it's just... I, I feel like they had some I mean, great what, whatever choices Whatever your here. niche is, like, Smash Up pretty much has it. <laughs> it does, but now it has Disney as well. Yeah. Now you can Mulan with your pirates. And at the end of the day, I mean, it's it's Smash Up Disney. If you like Smash Up, you're going to like this. And if you don't like Smash Up, you're probably not going to like it. Yeah. And if you're not, a f and if you're new to this, then I would say give it a whirl. Because yeah, there's a, a reason why it's immensely popular. Because it's it's an inoffensive game. I don't, I've never anyone who, like, hated it. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't have any, like, major issues with it. It's just not for me. Okay. Smash Up, the Disney edition recommend especially and this is if you if you enjoy smash up obviously you probably already get this but if not give it a whirl but 
If you enjoy this, please be sure to click on the subscribe button down below. So I'm trying to reach 10,000 subscribers so celebrate my 10-year anniversary of making YouTube content. Also, in the comments below, let me know. You can add any one faction to this. One Disney movie. What you going with? What's the faction where you'd be oh. like, ooh, I'm picking that one first, if it's there? Oh, man. Um... I'm going Black Cauldron. It is is the Sandlot? Uh, I don't think Disney? that. I think that's uh, it's 20th Century Fox, so I suppose. Yeah, yeah Disney owns them, right? Yeah. Sandlot. Disney owns everything. Sandlot. Oh my gosh! We're, but let me know. Yeah, let me know in the comments below. What what do you want in your Smash Up? And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. This video is brought to you by all of my amazing Patreon supporters, and I would love it if you would join their ranks and have your name immortalized in the end of many of my videos for the end of time. But consider for only a dollar a month. And as always, thanks for stopping by.